It's a trip he's waited over six decades to take. At 90 years and eight months old, Ed DeWight is officially the oldest person ever to fly to space. And here exits Ed Dwight. This gentleman has waited a long time to go to space. Former Air Force pilot Captain Ed Dwight was once tapped by President John F. Kennedy to be the first black astronaut candidate. This is how he described the experience to CBS News in 2022. When I got this letter November the 4th, 1961, offering me this opportunity to be the first Negro astronaut, I thought these dudes were crazy. After four years of training with NASA, Dwight was booted from the space program. Are you now, in fact, completely out of the astronaut program? Is there a possibility of you ever being back in? I don't know. I don't have any idea. He went on to have a successful corporate career and in his retirement years has flourished as an artist. There it is, touchdown of the crew capsule. But even at 90 years old, the allure of space still called to him. Five, four, command engine start, two, one, zero. Ignition. And lift off. On a 10-minute flight on Blue Origin's New Shepard, Dwight got to see the Earth from space, a dream he had long since put behind him. <laughs> Everything you can think of. Uh, and I, 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 I thought I really didn't need this in my life, <laughs> but now I need it in my life. <laughs> According to Blue Origin, the crew experienced about three minutes of weightlessness after they reached an altitude of 65 miles, which is a few miles above the internationally recognized boundary between the discernible atmosphere and space. Dwight grabs the most senior spot on the list of astronauts by just a few months. In 2021, William Shatner of Star Trek fame was also 90 years old at the time of his Blue Origin flight. As for his flight to space, the journey gets Dwight's full endorsement. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely. This is a life-changing experience. Everybody needs to do this. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm TC Newman.